Hello my loves, welcome back to another video. I'm Ashley and today I'm going to be going through my March TBR. I am going to preface this video by saying this is subject to change because I am also planning on taking part in Bookoplathon, the 48 hour readathon hosted by Becca from Back in the Books. Based on her TBR game, I will leave a link to the announcement video down below. This readathon is completely live and I am one of the hosts for it, so I will definitely be taking part. And I do have grand plans or rather a singular grand plan, which could go disastrously wrong, but we're gonna attempt it anyway. However, all will be revealed on that weekend. So I don't know how successful this TBR is going to be, but we'll give it a damn good shot. Just before I do get into the TBR, I do just want to let people know that my Patreon book club pick for March and April is from Blood and Ash by Jennifer L. Armentrout, which I am so excited for because I just haven't managed to read this one yet. I was meant to read it in February, didn't manage to get around to it. So now I have to read it by the end of April. I'm so excited about it. It does also mean that I will be creating a full book review on my channel for this book. So stay tuned for that one. I will, however, probably be reading this one in April just because of everything that's going on in March. So I did just want to mention that if you do want more information on the book club or my Patreon or anything, those are down in the description box. But yes, just thought I would let you know and thank you to my patrons for choosing this one. <laughs> And as you might be able to see, I do have my Patreon TBR jar behind me because we will be picking out another book from the jar later in the video. So, exciting times. <laughs> However, not yet, because we are first going to go through the books which are definitely on my March TBR, starting with the read long. So first up, I am going to be rereading The Mask Falling by Samantha Shannon because I am the host of Bonathon, which is a read long for the Bone Season series. We came back for the release of The Mask Falling and the live show for this is going to be in the beginning of March. So I have been saving my reread of this book right until before the live show. If you're new here, then The Bone Season is my all time favorite series and I have just recently done a video giving you 50 reasons why you should read it so please do check that out if you haven't already. But the first book, The Bone Season, is based in a world where clairvoyants exist but being clairvoyant is illegal. Our main character Paige Mahoney is a clairvoyant and she one day is caught, taken presumably to jail apart from the world from that point on, expands in ways that you could never predict and it's just such a good dystopian fantasy-esque story. I absolutely adore it and I'm very excited to be doing the live show for The Mask Falling sometime soon. This will either be the first or the second weekend of March so I will be confirming the dates so shortly. But as I read this back in December, I think it was, I do want to give it a reread so that I can really theorise and talk about the details during that live show. So we'll definitely be doing that. I am also hoping to annotate it. So very exciting jumping back into this world. Another book I'll be reading as part of a read along is Truth Witch by Susan Dennard. This one I'm reading as part of the Witchlands Along hosted by Jade from Jedra Reads with myself, Becca and Cody. So we will be making our way through this series throughout the course of the next few months, obviously starting with this one, Truth Witch, which is the first in the series. So in this one, all I know is that we follow two witches who have different kinds of abilities. Our main character, Sophia, can tell when people are lying and that scene is a very powerful ability to have because it could really help during wars and battles and things like that. So she's keeping her ability secret. I believe her friend is involved somehow. I don't know if they're both hiding powers. I think they are. They're both hiding their powers and I imagine they don't do too well with that. So very excited to see what this is like because I know it's such a well-known YA fantasy series. I know that Jade absolutely loves it which is why she's hosting a read-along and I'm just excited to see what it's like. I then also have a few arcs which were very kindly sent to me by publishers and are being released around the March April time so I'm hoping to get these read. The first one being Malice by Heather Walter. This is not the cover <laughs> but this one is an adult sapphic retelling of Sleeping Beauty in which Sleeping Beauty falls for the evil sorceress. That is all I needed to know before I wanted to read this one. I feel like there's not really anything more I need to say because that just sold me completely and the synopsis is basically just an extension of that. So I am so hyped for this one. I hope it's going to be everything I want it to be. This has so much potential and I am super excited to see if it pulls through because retellings, we have a lot of them coming out this year and I am so hyped for that. <laughs> also, everybody loves a villain and there's definitely one here. <laughs> Next up, we have another young adult fantasy, which I've had an arc of for quite a while now, but I've been holding off until we're closer to publication day because this one is Witches Steeped in Gold by Shannon Smart. I always really struggle to actually describe the synopsis of this. So if I can grab the summary for you. We have Araya who has spent all her life in a cell. Heir to an overthrown and magically gifted dynasty, she was exiled from her home on an island nation of Isa, need to check the pronunciation of that, when she was just a child. But every day brings her closer to freedom and vengeance. 
Jasmine grew up dressed in gold, with stolen magic at her fingertips. Daughter of the self-crowned Doyen, her existence is a threat to her mother's rule, but unlike her sister, Jasmine has no intention of dying to strengthen her mother's power. Sworn enemies, the two witches enter a deadly alliance to take down the woman who threatens both their worlds, but revenge is a bloody pursuit and nothing is certain, except the lengths Araya and Jasmine will go to win this game. This is a Jamaican inspired fantasy and I've seen so much praise for the people who have managed to read early copies of it. I did start reading it a little while ago and I got about 50 pages in but I did have to put it down because of other obligations but I did really enjoy the bit that I did read and I think this has a lot of potential so I'm very excited for this. I also just love the theme of enemies having to work together. It's just such a recipe for angst. I love it. I love the angst. I love the drama. <laughs> I also have Clara and the Sun by Kazuro Ishiguro. This one is a sci-fi which I haven't read for a little while and I've actually read, I think it was The Buried Giant by Kazuro Ishiguro before and I didn't love it but I did find it really interesting and I loved his writing style and I have been meaning to try out more. So then when the publisher reached out and asked if I wanted a copy of this, I very gladly said yes. And also this has a really cool cover because you can change the sun which I just found really cool. So in this one, we are aligned with Clara, who is a cyborg or an automaton of some sort. In this, she's called an artificial friend. And I believe she's quite literally just stood in a shop waiting to be bought, watching humans pass by through the window and just thinking a lot. It sounds like there's a lot of contemplation in this because the synopsis literally says, this is the story of Clara, an artificial friend with outstanding observational qualities, who, from her place in the store, watches carefully the behaviour of those who come in to browse and of those who pass in the streets outside. She remains hopeful a customer will soon choose her, but when the possibility emerges that her circumstances may change forever, Clara is warned not to invest too much in the promises of humans. I have seen rave reviews from the people reading this so far and I'm so excited to see what Kazuo Ishiguro has got in store because I just think he has such interesting concepts and a brilliant way of writing so I'm excited to see what this is like. So then finally for the books which I am desperately hoping to read in March, I do have one which I have put on so many TBRs now because this one is Well of Ascension by Brandon Sanderson. I have been meaning to continue the series since 2017. I read The Final Empire in 2017 and still haven't continued it. I actually can't remember too much about The Final Empire to be able to give a proper synopsis of it. I know that there's some kind of rebellion. It's a very dismal world, very grey, everything's covered in ash I think it is. And there are different levels of people who can have some kind of like magical ability but they don't call it magic, they call it allomancy because it's all done with metal so people will ingest metal and the metal will have some relation to what ability they have. I remember it enough to be able to jump into this one but I will be finding a summary online just to kind of recap everything so that I can explain it properly and also just to make sure that I'm not missing any glaringly obvious details but it is definitely about time I read this one so hopefully March can be the time. I've scheduled it in so that it's in the month between Elder Ling Long, so I'll be picking up Robin Hobb again from April onwards, so I don't want too many big books <laughs> in one month. So hopefully this I'll be able to squeeze in before we get back to Robin Hobb. We shall see if that is the case. So then we just have the Patreon TBR jar. If you have no idea what this is in relation to, this is for my book buying ban challenge. So the basic premise is I can only buy a book if I first read a book out of this jar. So it doesn't count for any of the other books I read, just the ones that are picked from this jar. The last one I picked out was Annihilation and I have since read that one so it's time to choose a new one. Okay let's have this one. So I'm trying to... is that the right way? The Bridge Kingdom by Danielle L. Jensen which was picked out by Emily, Emily W specifically. <laughs> oh that's exciting it's a fantasy romance. Yay. <laughs> The Bridge Kingdom is enemies to lovers style fantasy romance. Two kingdoms at war. Our main character is sent into a political marriage but she has plans to become a spy to bring down his kingdom but then once she's there she realises that things aren't actually as evil and horrible as she was told. That is probably the most basic synopsis I could have given but all I know is I am super excited and it's always compared to Sarah J Maas books or at least the kind of catchphrase is always for fans of Sarah J Maas so let's see if that pulls through. I won't necessarily be reading it in March but it will just stay on my TBR until I do read it so that we can fulfill the book buy and ban challenge. But that is it for this video. Those are all the books that I'm hoping to read. It may change with the readathon but we shall see. Hopefully it all goes to plan. But yes, as always, do let me know if you've read any of the books in this video and also let me know what you plan on reading in March. Are you taking part in Bookopathon or any other read readathons, anything like that? 
do let me know. But for now, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to leave a like and a comment so let me know that you're here. If you're not subscribed already, then please consider doing so. Down in the description box, you'll find information to all the books I've just mentioned, all of my social media and other bookish stuff as well. So be sure to check that out if you haven't already. But for now, I hope you're having a lovely day and I shall see you next time with a new video. Bye.